What's going on guys, it is your boy Monza, and before I get this commentary started, I just want to thank Thunder for letting me upload this to his Thunderstrike Gaming community channel. Highly appreciate it, bud. Keep up the good work on Thunderstrike Gaming, and to all you content creators, you're doing a fantastic job seeing a lot of potential on this community channel throughout the past couple years since I've been around YouTube, and you know, keep on keeping on everybody. And uh, today I want to talk about Black Ops 2. Now I know Black Ops 3 information is being released, this and that, but I want to focus on Black Ops 2, and my concerns with Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, you know, let's just kind of get into this. Am I the only one who's sick of seeing Black Ops 2 gameplay? Like, everywhere I go, someone's uploading Black Ops 2, you're watching Black Ops 2 right now. I know, but it's the only kind of gameplay I had. This is some hardcore team deathmatch, I go like 37-7, and 7, a pretty good gameplay overall. But, uh, you know, I'm just kind of tired of Black Ops 2 just being everywhere, and I'm ready for Black Ops 2 to be done. I'm ready for it to be over with, you know, Black Ops 2 was 2012, it should stay in 2012 and 2013, you know, this game's done. In my opinion, you know, I've seen everything, everything's been done already, you know, nothing's really refreshing with Black Ops 2. I mean, the gameplay is always nice to watch with Black Ops 2. You know, the colors are great and everything, you know, the gameplays always look fantastic when you get nice kill streaks, and, uh, you know, it still is entertaining to watch, but, you know, I'm just kind of getting tired of Black Ops 2 this, Black Ops 2 that, you know. I still, I like Advanced Warfare, personally. You know, I didn't think there was anything that wrong with the game. Yes, it was different, but I adjusted pretty quickly and uh, actually enjoyed the exosuits. Uh, I thought they were pretty fun. But I know the community fucking hates that game for some reason, but, uh, you know, I actually like Ghost 2. You know, call me crazy, maybe I'm just some kind of a freak. I don't know what it is, but, you know, my concerns with Black Ops 3 is what if it tanks? Then what? Are we going to have another year of Black Ops 2? Is Black Ops 2 going to be a four-year COD cycle? Man, I really hope not. <laughs> you know, that's just, that's no bueno in my book. I don't know what we're going to do if Black Ops 3 tanks or if Black Ops 3 fails. I personally, from seeing the multiplayer reveal, I think it's going to be a really good game. I can't give you guys any personal information. I haven't played the game yet. I don't know anything about the game. Uh, I've just seen gameplay from Pomage. I've seen some from Drifter, from Nade Shot. Just kind of watch all over the community. And the game so far looks pretty solid. You know, the game looks very vibrant and colorful like Black Ops 2. But it has like the advanced look of what Advanced Warfare had. Uh, if you put Advanced Warfare 2 on this game, I'd believe it's Advanced Warfare 2, to be honest. Because I was a little bit disappointed of bringing back exosuits. You know, I did like them in Advanced Warfare. But I don't know how Treyarch is going to, like, do with it. I don't know what they're going to do. I have faith in Treyarch. Always like their games. You know, they always do a pretty good job at the very end. And, uh, yeah, real quick, what's with this Xbox and PS4, you know, Call of Duty getting the DLC first on the PS4, man? Ugh, fucking about finally. About time, goddammit. <laughs> I've been on PlayStation my whole life, and we're finally getting the DLC first. Yes! But, but uh, you know, I just don't get it. You know, so many people are judging Black Ops 3 already. You know, saying the game is garbage, the game is trash, and they haven't even played it yet. You know, I'm saying it's good, I haven't played it yet, but, you know, I'm not saying it's going to be a perfect game. Uh, there's a couple things I didn't like about it, like I said, you know, the advanced movement, you know, people running on walls, people boosting up on, you know, rooftops and whatnot. But uh, from what everyone says, it flows really well with the maps, you know, it takes a minute to get used to, but uh, as soon as you get used to it, it's a really good system, so I'm pretty excited. I like this specialist idea, you know, like that bow and arrow, I think it's badass, you know, I'm a big Rambo fan, so... Expect Rambo montages on my channel, you know, wink, wink, little, <laughs> little inside future to what I plan on doing with Black Ops 3. But, uh, I think it's going to be a good year. Um, overall, I really hope this game does not fail, because if it does fail, I don't know what's going to happen to the Call of Duty community. I don't know, maybe we'll all go back to Advanced Warfare saying that was the best Call of Duty. You know, the Call of Duty cycle may have a comeback with Advanced Warfare, who knows. But, uh... Yeah, guys, that's the commentary for today. Kind of a little short, kind of sweet, kind of my opinion. Um, if you guys watched the Black Ops 3 multiplayer reveal trailer, uh, you know, le leave in the comment sections down below your opinions on it and uh, what you think the video the game's going to be like. Uh, you know, I want to see positive, negative comments, anything I want to see. You know, I have a thing for reading information. The more information I can get, the more smart I am. The smarter I am, the more powerful I am. It's too bad I spend that power making YouTube videos. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's been your boy Monza, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I want to thank Thunder once again for allowing me to upload this to Thunderstruck Gaming. And, uh, yeah, you know, hopefully Black Ops 2 is on a four-year Call of Duty. Please, Treyarch, do something good. 